welcome back to my channel. If you're back, if you're new, you are so welcome here. I'm gonna be doing two different eye looks using the Morphe 3502 palette, which came out in like America ages ago, like October or something, like beginning of October, but I've just had access to it in England. So I am doing my own little makeup looks with it. This first one is this like, it's like a peach bronzy look. So I was so happy when I saw these and they really remind me of like, when I saw them I thought of like <laughs> Lion King. When I was doing this tutorial, when I saw and I thought to do this tutorial, I was channeling the inner African princess in me. I was like, come through princess, it's your day. They finally made a palette for you. But yeah, love it and the colors. Jackers, that's all I'm saying. Plus, I will be leaving all the details for all the um, from where I got the palette from, all the colors that I used, all that kind of stuff, the stuff I used on my eyes, all down in the description bar. Oh, why can't I ever say description? Down in the description bar. So, check that out for details on this look. So, yeah, feel free to press the like button to subscribe and watch more of my tutorials because there's gonna be plenty more so yeah as for now enjoy the rest of the video so first up we're gonna go with this right here which is called orb so yeah we're gonna use orb as the transition color so I'm gonna take this time to let you know that this first video is more voiceover but the second one is more just me talking and stuff. If you're here for just the watch and stuff, I'd suggest the second one but if you're here for literally the tutorial then please ignore me, continue. Then we're gonna go into the colour right beneath it which is heat and heat is right there. And then to deepen the colours even more, we're going to go in with Chestnut, which is right there. That is my favourite. What I love about this palette as well is the fact that they have so many browns, like proper browns that are deep and burgundy coloured. It's so yummy. I love it so much. But yeah, we're going to use that literally right in the crease. Now we're going to go ahead and do the lid colours now. And for the inner and the outer part of the lid, we're going to use Ruby, which is this red shimmery colour. It's really, really pretty. Then with my LA Girl Pro Conceal um, highlighter in the shade Toffee, I'm going to use that to get that halo effect that we want. So I'm going to apply the concealer literally to create a cut crease right at the center of my eye and then fade it out to the sides just a little bit but just only in the center of my eyelid. Oh my gosh, I am so in for this palette. I'm telling you right now. I'm gonna use sauce. That's called sauce there. <gasps> sauce, eh? Like I wasn't even, I didn't even like love it when I first saw it. I had to put it on for me to like confirm that there are feelings here. So yeah, we're just going to pack that on right at the centre on top of the concealer, making sure that we blend it in with the colour that was on the side, ruby, but making sure that it still stands out in its own right, you know, because you still want it to pop. But yeah, because I went a bit too far out, I had to go back into ruby and just make sure that I placed it back where it should be and make sure the colours are blending in just right. And then just literally at the highest point of the lid, I wanted to go in and add one extra colour just to make it a little bit more vibrant. And for that I decided to use the colour Rustic which is right there, it's like a bronzy colour which is really nice. So I thought it would go well with the sauce and that's why I used it. Go back into it. <laughs> Perfect. 
And then now using my favorite eyeliner right now, I'm using Gigi Hadid's black eyeliner. I believe it is called East Coast, but I'll leave it all down in the description bar because I don't actually remember. I've called it all sorts of colors, black, noir, East Coast, God knows what. It's all in the, on the, on the little things, so I'm just calling it whatever. And then I remembered I missed that one step. So going back in, I used brunette, which is that um, the darkest brown that there is. I used that literally right at the end of the crease on the outer part of my eye. On the outer part of my eye, it's gonna go right above um, the lid colors just to break it off a little bit and create more depth. For my lashes, I use these Ardell Natural Lashes and they are called Lacy's. And as usual, I got them from my local hair supply store, which may I say is actually in town, in the city centre, not even like anywhere near my house. But that is as local as it gets for me. So yeah, I got them from there and they were $2.99. So now for my lips, I went ahead and used Limbo by Colourpop and also I used Lovebug by Colourpop as well. I used Limbo on the outside and then Lovebug in the middle. Very brown, very neutral, very So to finish off the eyes, um, I didn't even bother to show you first, um, I used Ruby, the same like red um, eyeshadow that we used before, that one right there, so we're going to use that, I'm going to go back into the lash line, the lower lash line. Then we jumped back into chestnut and we used that from the outer part of the eye, from the end all the way to about two thirds into the eye, we're not going to completely go to the end. Then as usual we used our black coal eyeliner by Miss Sporty to just um, tie the whole look together. So we're just going to use that again from the outer part all the way till about two thirds again. And it's important to remember as well at this point that um, we need to smudge the colours together, make sure that they're blending in. We don't want a clear line between ruby to chestnut to the eyeliner. And then now we're also going to add in, to so make sure that all ties in, we're going to add in um, Wiz, which is the black eyeshadow in the palette. It is black, okay? They were not trying to play us, they were trying to give us black. So yeah, we're going to use that to just make sure it's nicely um, blended in and smoked out. Stop it. And so to finish it all off, we're gonna use our L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise this Mascara. And this uh, this mascara does not play with anybody. Like when it's like when I tell you this mascara will last you like three days, take my word for it because it's not moving anywhere. Like you have to use oil to you <laughs> to like take it off your face. So yeah, it's just oh serious gosh, stuff. Oh it's some serious serious my stuff. And the tear duct area needs to be glowing. How dare I? So to highlight um, the inner corner of the eye, we're going to use that gold, the brightest gold that there is, and that's called Pure. And that's basically the first look done. Changed the headscarf to black because I got these lovely tassely earrings which I got from Primark. I think they were like three pounds. So get you some if you like them. Um, here's a look. Okay, so we begin. So before we begin on this one, I'm gonna use. I'm gonna moisturize my lips with Spores FX it's candy floss just to get my lips prepped and ready for 
the heavy duty today. I've already done this one eye here, so now we're gonna focus on the other and then I'm gonna finish my face and that will be the two looks done. Okay, so to start with, Don't you just hate when your brows don't come out looking the same? This brow is always better than this one. And this one is higher than this one. This one is just... <sighs> but yeah, can you see what this, this lovely orb is doing right now? Can you just take some time to breathe all this beauty in? Look how like warm that is. So once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and use Risky, which is right here. It's like this lovely, <sighs> what is it? What is this tone? It's like a brownie pink shade. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. It's like a brownie pink shade. So we're gonna use that as a transition color, as our transition color. Do you see? And watch now, just as the other eye, this one's gonna come out better than this one. That's definitely gonna happen. Just that unfortunate. <laughs> Look at the baby hairs, I laid that down like it's 2006. Remember when we used to sweep the baby hairs and just scoop them, round them up right to the back of the head. Mad. Taking me back, you know. Okay, once well, that's covered, <laughs> We're gonna go in with the next color, which is the crease color, which is in the zone. Right there. In the zone is gonna go in my crease. I need to stop talking. So there we have in the zone. For the outer and the inner part of the eyelid, we're gonna use my favorite chestnut. Which is right here. Just nice, my face. I'm going back into the crease because I feel like the color's broken and I need that darkness to be consistent around the crease. But it wasn't doing it for me just now. So yeah, I went back into it. And then back into chestnut again. easy this eye is I'm almost done okay. currently I'm using warm honey by LA girl Pro Conceal the right way. Yeah. that's the one it's gonna create like a halo effect right here in the middle of the eye just as we did in the other eyes just this one we're using a different color Then we are going to pack on. What's this one? Am I even looking at the right color? We're gonna use polished. I want the right color now. We're gonna use polished, which is this beautiful, like pink right here. Pink. I really need to learn my shades. My description is just not up to par right now. though that you blend from chestnut into polished on either side quite well so that it's not just like a line down your eye who's gonna think that's cute nobody and then just to add some brightness just in the middle of that I'm gonna put on I'm gonna use um sizzle yeah, I'm gonna use sizzle right in the middle, like a small line, just to add some dimension. You know me in dimensions. So this, I learned that word, I can't stop using it. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back in with a blending brush, the one that had chestnut on it, and just blend. 
blend the outside and around of the crease so that we leave that pink on the highest point of our eyes. See, that sounded intelligent, that sounded technical and like I know what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Correcting on my way. And that's it for the eyeshadow. Literally, you're finished. And then now we're gonna do the eyeliner and you know what's coming up. I think by now people should know precisely what I'm gonna use. Unless I make a big announcement like that I'm using something different, you know what's coming. It's Gigi Hadid's black eyeliner. And that's it for the eyeliner. And then now to tight line, I'm going to use my usual um, this sporty black eyeliner. And then for my mascara, I'm gonna use my L'Oreal My Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. And honestly, a little goes a long way with this one. So you don't need too much. Plus, I don't like wearing too much mascara simply because of the fact that I'm gonna wear lashes anyway. So what's the point in packing on mascara if in the end it's not gonna make that much of a difference? just a waste of my time and product nobody has time for that and then for my lashes i'm gonna use these ardell professional lashes and they're in the i think they're called laces yeah these are called laces store and you can reuse them as long as you clean them they're good to go like even if it's bad to say i use them until they start falling apart or they start getting bent and they're like this when the lashes are looking like this that's when i let them go but if not and i clean them and i keep them nice and neat i see no issue with me reusing them lashes make a humongous difference i used to be one of those people that wore just eyeshadow on its own um, okay, it's fine like do you if that's what you like to do yeah, but with me because my eyes are so flipping big They needed the fuss of the lashes around it and I never used to like really like wearing mascara So I just have eyeshadow on and my eyes just look <sighs> It's a time in my life where I was better off not wearing any makeup to be honest like Well, you're always better off not wearing any makeup, but I was just I don't know what I was thinking It was just never a time in my life I'd like to go back to be honest there we go so now that I've done the top half of my eyes which I'm really happy with obviously it looks stupid now because I haven't got like everything else but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation and all that stuff and then I'll be back to do the rest of the eyes just down here but it won't even be that much it won't be that much detail anyway I'm just gonna keep it quite simple because my lip is gonna be really fussy so be right back Okay, so I went ahead and finished the rest of my foundation routine and then now I'm going to go back into the eyes. Okay, so first up on the lower lash line, we're going to use Bray, which is this one right here. That's Bray. So we're going to use that to just warm it up a little bit. And next we're going to use Brunette. This one right here. You just on from the outside to about three quarters of the way into the eye. Okay, to highlight the eyes, I have no clue what to go for because none of the colours are like that bright. So mm, I'm gonna go with bronzy first, which is right here. Let's see how much highlighting that does. If it doesn't, we might have to go with our usual pure, which is quite annoying because that's literally the only colour that I can see right now, which is good for like the inner tear duct area. If none of them are bright enough, then I'll just have to use one that's out of this palette, which would be a shame because I just want to stick to the palette. But let's try bronzy and let's see where that takes us first. Mm. 
Let me try the other eye. It might leave me just the way it is. Is it just me? Or is it when you highlight these parts of the eyes, sometimes it's perfect and it bangs. And then other times it's just like, what? Like, it's just like, it doesn't look as popping as you need it to be. Maybe it's just me, to be honest. Because my eyes are so different from each other. One is bigger than the other. It's like the eyebrow situation all over again. One eyebrow is bigger than the other. It comes out better than the other. It's, this one is, I think this one is longer than this one. <laughs> also, it's, so for my inner tear duct area, this eye here has more space, while this one is like more cramped, like it was too close to my nose. try and pack it on as much as I can making sure I don't smudge everywhere but I want it to be visible I want it to be like she got some lashes going on underneath there yeah that's it done with the eyes now so we're gonna do the lips and that's the last step okay, so for my lips I decided to use you guessed it Colourpop <laughs> it's like all I have I have Colourpop and a lot of MAC. Those are the only two things that I have. I've asked for more for Christmas, so maybe you might see something different. But I stick to Colourpop because I really like Colourpop anyway. I like MAC lipsticks that will last me the whole day and don't have to like fuss around with them unless I've been eating something greasy. So they're the most convenient. And when I bought them, I bought loads. So I'll never really run out, to be honest. They'll always be around. So <sighs> I might invest in some more just for the sake of variation. But if not, I'm quite happy to continue with what I have. So, yeah, firstly, we're gonna use this one which is called Smitten. It's like a really dark, rich purple color that I really like. And I've only worn it like once, so this would be a good time to try again. And then I'm gonna use Playdate, which is one of my favorites. That's gonna go in the center because I like me an ombre lip, what can I say? But to be honest, I might not use Playdate, I might just stick to the purple. If I like it just the way it is on its own. It glides on so easily. It's like water. So that's me with smitten alone. I feel like it needs a bit of this. I won't lie.